Hey everybody, welcome back to my world. No matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. But sometimes, you'll make an adult decision, and then other people will question the decision or wonder about the decision, and then you'll think, well, okay, maybe that wasn't the right decision. Maybe people do want to know about that. What I'm talking about today was my decision to not do a video about the other two Shadow High... Rainbow Vision, Rainbow High, Costume Ball Dolls that I purchased for myself. Uh, lots of you have been asking in comments and also messaging me on Instagram, and I realize her hair's kind of a mess. And uh, so I already took them out of the box because I felt like by the time I was getting around to doing this, because, you know, I've had quite, quite the busy year with my mom being sick and, you know, just life in general. So by the time I was getting around to getting these dolls out of the box, I felt like everybody's seen them already. You know, everybody's seen them. There's been a million videos about them. Everybody knows about them. I don't need to worry about them. And so I decided to not make that video. And then so many of you have been asking me. So many of you have been asking me. So here they are. So this is Demi or Demi Batista and this is, I keep wanting to call her Christine McPhee, but she's Eliza McPhee. And it's even more interesting that I would be doing this uh, today because we did just lose Christine McPhee from Fleetwood Mac and the name McV is a form of McFay, which means of the fairies. So anyway, now I did do a video about Lola because Lola Wilde is potentially my favorite doll that came out this year. This is, this is really close to being, she might be, I have to kind of look around. I have to remember what I got this year versus last year, but I think she might win. And I was totally unimpressed by Violet and by Bella. So this release has been kind of all over the place for me. And I feel like the most recent, re the, the 2022 releases for Rainbow High and Shadow High have been less about me being like, oh my gosh, I have to have them all. Because I did do that at the earlier part of the year. And then there's some dolls that I was like, I mean, I love all dolls, but I'm kind of like, eh, you know, I don't have to display that doll. And if I don't feel like I have to display a new doll, then that means that I don't want to look at it all the time. And if I don't want to look at it all the time, does that mean I really like it? You know, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. But I did ask Caden to unbox um, Eliza and Demi for me, because I do think these are really cool. So let's take a look at, at these two. I was gonna call them ghouls. Look at these two dolls. So, um, here we go. She's got a nice dark purple stand. She is, now this is a costume ball, and I think that honestly, um, Demi and Lola, like, really understood the assignment to just go all out. I mean, the 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 white eyelashes are just like oh love it love 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 it and i mean she's supposed to be a shadow high uh girl so i'm not surprised to see black and white makeup um it is nice to see color on a shadow high doll but i'm not entirely sure that she's grayscale when i look at her I think she would be so at home at Monster High, let's be honest. I mean, this is why we all looked at her and we're like, yes, love her, right? She got her safety pin earrings. I'm not a huge fan of the, the kind of Edwardian ruffle collar thing, um, but I definitely think it's a cool retro look. Uh, I just don't like it because it makes it look like she has no neck. Her cape is really, really cool. So this is like more satiny, like I would like it to be velvet, but it's not, it's more of a satiny material. But then when you look underneath, like I wish somehow this could like be on display more when you're looking at her, you know? And I'm sure I could judge it to make it be that you saw more 
of the cape when I put her back on a shelf. But I think it's a really, really cool look. And then the really simple brocade on her dress with her shadow, shadow high belt. And then these boots, which are, um, yeah. So the boots go all the way up to the thighs and there's a, like an Edwardian black ruffle around the top of the boots. So I kind of wish that the skirt were just a fraction shorter so that we could really see how awesome that is. So we'll just scooch that up. Pretend you're a Catholic school girl going to the bus stop, okay? Um, there you go. And I mean, just look at these, you know, it's a very dominatrix vibe. I'm a little disappointed that this zipper detail in here isn't plastic, like, uh, like isn't like a plastic zipper. I'm really kind of disappointed in that, honestly. But, but she's very, very cool. And I really, really dig her. I dig the pigtails, the widow's peak kind of bangs. It's all very, very cool. Definitely a good costume ball look. Love it. Oh, and I forgot. I mean, <laughs> the nails. So she's got the puffy shirt. So, uh, you know, a Seinfeld approved puffy, puffy shirt, but look at the nails. Woo, excuse me, move your hair, dear. Look, look, move your hair. Eh, look at the nails. Oh, I love them. I love, love, love how they really went for it with the nails on these dolls. So cool. So that's Demi, or Demi, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And then this is, I have given her so many different names. Um, I, so her name is Eliza, but I have called her, um, <laughs> I've been in my head, I have called her Evij, which is a, a friend of mine from college. I have no idea why I keep wanting to call this doll Evij, but I do. Um, yeah, Eliza, Evij, I come up with all kinds of, all kinds of different names for her. Let me get your earrings in the right place, please. Mm. Get these earrings right side up, because these earrings are really interesting. So, Eliza is dressed up as a fairy and she takes this in a really really unique direction I need these earrings in my life do you see these earrings look at the earrings so the earrings make the point make the little elfin point on her ears I need these I need them they have to exist I have to go look on Etsy they must exist she's got these really really cool eh, wings here we go a la winx club here really pretty iridescent um they are attached um in a really funky way to the, it's like this little blue little harness thing um and i think overall i do like that better than trying to clip them in somewhere and it's probably how a person would wear them cute hairstyle there's lots of gel lots of gel in eliza's hair lots of needless gel like there's just a big old chunk of gel right here there's a big chunk of gel right here um but her hair is just this beautiful white with kind of a blue silvery undertone love the earrings but i think where eliza wins is the incredible color play that they have been able to do on this white white skin of her face look at her lips the two different colors on the lips the eye color is is something that I, I, I try often to achieve, mixing a reddish pink with a really deep violet and, and a bluish color never really works out for me. It's working out beautifully on her. There's still a hint of blush to her cheeks, but the lips, I mean, oh, I love this doll so much. And then her dress is like, mm, it's okay it's okay there's a lot of and i mean you know you might love this there's all of these applique flowers which are really really cute and then there's the the writing woo, on the dress which is a cool concept and then we've got some crinoline and then we've got a hoop so we, we've got an actual hoop cage which is very cool so i think it's it's interesting it's not my favorite dress and then her shoes I don't know what I wanted, but it wasn't this. I don't know if I wanted like an homage to like, um, to Tinkerbell somehow. Like maybe she could have had like little puff, puffy little 
you know, pom-poms or something like that, I would have liked that. Um, but I do like her a lot. I really want to do with her what I have done with both of my Natashas, because I own two Natashas, the one that uh, uh, Rainbow High, um, I was going to call them Monster High, Rainbow High, Shadow High sent to me uh, when Shadow High launched, and then I got another one because I found I love... I love dressing Natasha in other Rainbow High characters' clothes. So, um, so here we go. So there's Demi and Eliza for everyone who has been asking. But what about them? So now you have them. I do like them. I like them very much. They do live on my shelf. I just, I thought you guys had seen them all so many times that you didn't want to see them again. But see, you wanted to see me do it, and I appreciate that. So thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I appreciate you girls, and I love you, Lola. Don't change, and I will see you again real soon. Love you. Bye!